three. And Blue just keeps him out and gets that double hit on the, the creeps with the fissure for the farm. Cancel could be in some trouble. Pablo coming from behind, but the TP is going to come through. And actually, Cancel is going to get aggressive on their Excalibur. Here comes the Snowball. They're actually going to go right for him. And that's the first blood. Boogie with a beautiful rotation. Now they're looking for a little bit more. Ice Shards keeps on Pablo. Double kill for Boogie with a beautiful rotation into the mid lane. 33 coming in from behind. Is he actually going to be able to do anything? Lots of damage from the Refraction. 33 going for Boogie, but he's not going to be able to find anything with his rotation. And there is going to be a smoke rotation from Solarian Boogie. So maybe the Earthshaker decides to get a little bit more aggressive as a bait. Okay, going around the back side. They're going to snowball right for it. Looking for him. The hook is still not available for Clutch, so he can't get Aki out of this one. And Boogie takes another kill. He takes all three kills on the map so far. Pablo's going to stay alive. A bit of a strange situation for him, just getting vision with the Frozen Sigil. And I guess that's what made it so that they couldn't actually get the kill. Now Excalibur chased down by a cancel in the mid lane. That should definitely be a kill. Four hits will do it. Canceled using nearly every one of those refraction charges, but just so easy for him to dive the tower like that. And Excalibur just way too on health there. Ake about to fall in the top lane. He will. Five kills to zero in mana leak, but he has to stay very careful. There will be the rotation in Buki. They're losing most of his mana and he's pro. They use the smoke. They're going to be able to get the Crystal Maiden, but alright, she dies before the snowball can come out. Now Buki without any mana. He's trying to back away. The Horde are not going to chase him any longer. That They are going to see Excalibur right there. They get the trap out. They're going to slow him down. Solari is hit with the mana leak, but he's not going to take enough damage to go down. Illumina is there. Solari will still be able to back away without losing all his mana, and they want to take this big stack here. Cancel. Ready to take it out. They're going to Echo Slam for it because Bambo does give a crap at all. Chris Maiden dies on the high ground, so maybe they're spending a little bit too much for it. So XD Bam is just like, I'm going to kill this creep camp. Cancel gets another one on the high ground. He's going to kill off the Coddle. Now maybe he's going to... Oh, he could go for a little bit more farm. Oh, nope, not going to get it, but Gork could be in some trouble. Meanwhile, inside the river, Sing Sing's chasing down 33. The Primal Roar is going to be there as Sing Sing gets pulled away by Pablo. Triple kill for uh, Cancel is still going ham over on the high ground. And Sing Sing, well, unfortunately, the Beastmaster is going to deny himself to Roshan, but Cancel waits on the high ground for somebody to come over. Pablo's not going to walk close enough, and Cancel is probably just going to back away from this. Decide to go for a Blink Dagger um, as his first big item as well. At bottom, Omni Slash on the Ake. Those big blades of Sing Sing just reaching so far to be able to kill off the um, Coddle there. Excalibur does manage to TP away from Cancel. He's putting a lot of damage out there. Pablo underneath the tower. Here comes the Mel Strike. Cancel with another refraction. He's going very deep for this one. About to take down Pablo. Is going to be able to do so. 33 in. Has the Primal Roar. They're going to get a couple of TPs in, but they don't have the vision. Aki in some trouble. One more hit will do it. He's going to fall as well. 33. He has the Primal Roar. How hard are they going to go on this one? The Ice Shards are going to keep people out. Cancel is going to be invis for now. Still has the Refraction out. Another race is going to be there, but he's got still one more charge on the Refraction, and he has five on the damage. Earthshaker right next to the Shrine. A terrible place for Bean to fight. They'll use the Primal Roar on him, and well, Sexy Bamba is going to tank it for his team. His dust here, it's really not going to be the fastest Blink Dagger to the history of mankind, but he's still getting really involved on the map without it. Gork could be in some trouble. The Fissure could be there. It will Echo Slam drop down, killing Gork on the top lane. Just seeing heroes that are too low, getting too greedy. Great time at all. He's going to block out the Creep Wave and back up. Does he have any vision of this one? Temporary Assassin gets the slow. Aki is in trouble. He will be putting the mana leak out into Cancel, but Cancel is just right there, and he's going to be fighting against the tower because he really doesn't want They want to try to go in on this one. There is the hook to pull Cancel in. He is trying to stay alive here. They'll use the Snowball to keep him alive, though, and they'll go right into the tower, most likely. They get the Primal Roar out, and the, yeah, Raccoon of Souls right next to Cancel is going to kill him giving a favor of beans and xp is still very very close even with the excellent early game that beans have excalibur shows up to the lane he's going to be hit by the echo slam and the totem double totem look he didn't get the kill they do one more hit did it for sexy bambo and he solos down excalibur with his first bambo does not have an echo slam for another 30 seconds and the frost troll is going to scout things out Ake okay, ready to go in he's going to put the illuminate down 
to go into the pit. Roshan down to half health there. It's going to be this member onto the uh, Crystal Maiden on the side. Has to get away from the Pudge, and Pudge is way too far up. He's going to fall to this. Excalibur going to the side, looking for the raises on the Solari, but Solari is going to be able to stay alive. Beautiful edge shards on the two. Excalibur winds up, but Tusk is going to fall to this. Here comes the Omni Slash, though, and as soon as it's over... Oh, beautiful Fisher has stopped directly in Souls. He's right next to him, but eventually it's just going to be a death, death Requiem that comes through. Gork trying to get away. He's being scouted out, slowed down by the Frozen Sigil. Cancel's going to chase him, needs to get to the high ground. Take the Bambo right next to him, gets us done with the Enchantonum, and we'll call it a full five man team wipe. Beans only lose one, can still go for Roshan. He takes down so many heroes, and just the timing on Bambo's stuns were absolutely fantastic. Able to stop that Requiem from coming out from the on his team. Comes back with Bean Boys and almost, of a, almost a joke. <laughs> And uh, now they go right in. Oh, blink into the storm hammer. The snowball is going to keep them safe for a little bit longer. They go over to the side. Bambo in. He's got the now echo slam. It's down for another 50 seconds. The age is going to be picked up. And Illumin is doing a lot of damage here. Sex with Bambo nearly killed off. He's going to be hooked right back in. Cancel blinks away. He's going to slow these guys down in their pursuit. Hook is still down for a while. Solari is going to manage to stay alive. That was not really a good push at all. They got too aggressive, and unfortunately, Cancel got hit when the. When the storm hammer came out, Pablo's still trying to chase them down. Hook could come out on the cancel, see if he gets pulled right back in. He's going to try to juke this as much as possible, He's slowing down Pudge and does have the shadow blade up and wants to try to find somebody, and he does. Finds 33, and he's gonna appear right next to him. Gets the stun off, Fissure, Enchant Totem, looking for Sing Sing to get out into this, and 33 cuts his way out, but here comes a defusal blade, and that's gonna be an easy kill onto the Beastmaster. No one else. Just waiting at bottom, and Solari is very aggressive at mid. They could go in on this one. The stun's going to be there. He forced us over to the river. The hook is going to hit on the Crystal Maiden. That should be a very easy kill, but here comes Bambo in with the Fissure, and uh, he is taking a lot of damage here. The Necro Book about to take him down, and Sing Sing with most of the damage out onto the Necro Book with his Omni Slash. He tries to get away. They're looking for some more vision. Um, definitely. And the Templar Assassin is ready. I would assume that most of the gank attempts are going to come in from Sexy Bambo, who um, continues to... Oh, wow, what? Primal Roar, a couple of TPs are going to be there to help. He does get back pretty quickly, and Bambo is going to fall. Just stunned for way too long. The hook is going to pull back an illusion. Uh, Gork about to die, but he's man running against Sing Sing, who is about to fall. Gets hit with a dismember. He's taking a lot of damage here, and he is eventually going to die. Templar Assassin staying alive for now. Um, was taken back pretty far away from that, and she's trying to take down these necro books. A hook about to be blocked by a creep. Cancel still wants to get into this one and do some damage to these guys. There's going to be a blink away by 33. Cancel thought that he had more damage there, but now he needs a little bit more help. He uses the hurricane pike to stay alive. He is going to uh, get put into the snowball. They force it up high back on sexy bamboo. Cancel trying to do some damage. There's going to be a requiem souls on the backside. Is he going to be able to do enough damage? Excalibur going ham here, and he's going to be able to find the kill onto the tusk. Here's the beautiful kill from sexy bamboo though. Looking for Pablo, who will just deny himself after all of that. Um, we've got only two people alive on the map right now, so I call for a 1v1 versus Sexy Bambo and uh, Ake. They can at top, perhaps Gork could be in some trouble. There are a ton of heroes at bottom, and Sing Sing has been scouted out by the Beastmaster Hawk. They're smoked in, looking to try to take the Juggernaut down. They're going to keep running, though. Blessings. And they're still looking for him. Who could come in from Pablo, and they're going to be able to hit it. There's a Primal Roar, and Sing Sing's now dead. Allowed to walk in so far. There's also a gem on the ground, so he was holding the gem through all of that. I don't know. I know that the timing on that changed, but I don't quite remember what it is. Solari kills off the a big necro book creep and takes a lot of damage as a result of it. Boogie's getting chased down. Um, this isn't really good at all. They're actually going to go right onto the Shadow Fiend. They do a huge amount of damage. Cancel in the middle of everything. And they do manage to kill him. Here comes the Sven, though. Tops the God Strength. And Cancel gets himself away with the Hurricane Pike. Doing some good damage there. Slows down Ake. They want to get some more kills here. Gork over to the side. And the Hook goes out onto the Crystal Maiden. As Hook, um, the Hooker, the Pudge, able to blink away. Looking for the Sven. Sven is going to fall. Double kill for Cancel. He wants a little bit more. They want to try to get more of these kills. The Hawk is being about pushing the base and they just want to make sure that these heroes are going to get taken out and cancel blinks over Solari still in viz and they are going to be able to find Ake 
hit with the frostbite. Another easy kill for Bean Boys. With the smoke, thinking that he can get some kind of a hook off, but it's not going to be just yet. Actually, blinking to the high ground. He wants to get someone on their retreat, and it's going to be Sway. He tries to force stuff away, but he's not going to be able to do so. There is going to be the Fissure, though, in order to keep him safe, and he's going to be hit back to the low ground. He tries to hide in the trees, and well, if Governor knows exactly where he is, he's going to be able to stay alive for a little bit longer than he's supposed to, though. It's a Crystal Man for two. Shadow Fiend and Cottle are going to fall, but there's a triple stun by Sven. However, Cancel still doing work on the backside. Fisher's going to keep Sven away. I really don't want to allow him to farm up inside the jungle, but Sexy Bamboo has found them. Gork is here. Cancel's trying to bait them in a little bit more. He's actually going to get scared of it. They're going to break that trap, going for the Echo Sam. Huge amount of damage. They kill off the Sven. No reaction at all from the Horde. Cancel just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. That's a little bit strange. We're 34 minutes in, and it's the point of the game where if you lose a fight, you could definitely lose the game, and that could be it. Oh, there's going to be the Echo Slam. They're missing Brewmaster, though. He's got the... Or not Brewmaster, Beastmaster. If only there was a Brewmaster, I could use a drink myself, but... Well, with this. And Solari uses the Freezing Field to keep the mid lane pushed out. Uh, Pudge is going to be right there. It's going to force Staff out, looking for the hook. He's going to try to juke it, and he's going to be able to get it. But here comes Boogie with the... Oh, he wasn't able to get uh, the Crystal Maiden in the Snowball. They're actually not able to kill her. What was that? Why would you try to TP out there? And in any case, the Primal Roar onto Tusk. They're going to be able to take out two supports and looking for a little bit more. The hook, but it's not going to find um, Earthshaker. They're going to have the cheese on Crystal Maiden. I see. TP's over to the shrine. The smoke gets used. We'll see if they actually want to try to take this. They know that their heroes are at bottom. Sexy Bambo always here. And the axes do hit him a little bit. He's got the enchant totem. He's looking for things behind it though. Shadow Fiend Illusions. They're going to throw out the Echo Slam. And they're going to be able to take out the Beastmaster right quickly after that. They're looking for a little bit more cancel. Chasing down Gork C. Or rather, wow, I just messed that up. I thought I wasn't going to do that. It's just Gork. He is slowed down again by the trap there, chasing it pretty hard. Cancel blinks forward, looking for someone else. Pablo is going to use the Ghost Scepter, trying to stay alive. Here comes the, the Snowball, though, and the Ice Shards keeping him in. Dismember gets used. It's going to be used on the Boogie, but the Pudge is not going to stay long enough to re by Ake. will be slowed down. Here comes Cancel, right for the Rax. He doesn't even really care. Lotus Sword gets used. Excalibur could be in a lot of trouble. He's right next to the Shrine. They're actually going to go into Walrus Punch and uses the BKB with the Requiem right next to the Juggernaut. But Juggernaut is going to man mode him right now. He uses the Mantis style. They're immediately going to go away. Now Gork is not really being able to find anything at all. Here comes Pudge. There's the Dismember, but it's not going to be able to be used just yet. With Ake killed off by the, um, the Omni Slash. Now we have the oh, sent back Lotus Orb to Stormhammer. They kill off Excalibur. For the second time, he's dead for 100 seconds. Beans might have just won this, and that's it. They get the GG, and that is going to be it. Beans will be moving on as the EU qualifiers in the second open to the Kiev Major. They had a great series of matches to be able to make it into this final, and this final did not disappoint at all.